Hello everyone and welcome to a Marvel episode of Iron Panther Presents. It's been a very long time since we did one of those. Today we're going to get into this thing about who should play Storm. Is it going to be Beyonce? Is it not going to be Beyonce? Before we get to all that, as always, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video, comment on the video, share the video. Let us know why you watch Marvel, why you watch us talking about Marvel, who you think should be Storm. And we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Yes, the internet went crazy yesterday with stories that Beyonce was in talks to be a part of the MCU, to be part of Black Panther 2, and then people are thinking about, is she going to play Storm? And there is a lot all over my Facebook feed of absolutely not, you know, like, you know, Beyonce can't act and, you know, that's kind of stuff. But anyway, we're going to talk about, but Beyonce, we heard today that Beyonce is not actually going to play um, Storm, she's actually not even going to be part of Black Panther 2 or the MCU, that that was all just rumor, but we got a lot of time and we'll see what happens since Black Panther, Black, Black Panther 2 is due to be released uh, in 2022, um, but with the pushback of, the, of the, all the other movies because of the quarantine, it'd be interesting to see which movies actually get put out, but anyway... Who should play Storm? That's really the question. And the question that was on a lot of uh, comic book people's minds once they heard that the MCU was going to get all the X-Men characters um, from 20th Century Fox. So I want to talk about who has been cast to be Storm previously and who should and, and who should be cast in the future, at least according to like me. Like what are my type, top five? Okay, so then we talk about the MCU we, we got to talk about, excuse me, we got to talk about Storm as a comic book character and Storm as a cinematic character, okay? If you look through the comics, for the most part, Storm is a dark-skinned black woman and she's from the African continent and that's how she's been, she was seen in comic books, okay? So when 20th Century Fox started with the X-Men movie and Halle Berry was cast as Storm... I believe that at the time they were going for name recognition as opposed to comic book representation. Like Halle Berry was a very, you know, famous, you know, and still very famous, you know, black actress. And they're like, well, there you go. And she, she besides from Patrick Stewart, she was probably the best known actor related to that X-Men movie because um, Hugh Jackman only became famous really after X-Men. But Halle Berry did not look like Storm, okay? But she became the cinematic version of who Storm is, okay? And that's not what the comic book shows, all right? So you fast forward quite a few movies, and then we got X-Men First Class. And now they're trying to recast early, younger versions of the characters that we saw in the original X-Men movie. So 20th Century Fox, when they were faced with the, uh, with the, pro of the issue of recasting a younger Storm... They did not go to the comic book. They went to the movies. They went to Halle Berry. So then they cast Alexandria Ship, which does, once again, she does not look like the comic book Storm. She looks like a younger Halle Berry. And that makes sense if, again, if their goal was we're trying to show how Halle Berry's Storm became who she is. And then, but the movies went to shit. And like, so obviously, you know, 20th Century Fox did not do very well with the Marvel characters and that they had, and now MCU is going to take it over, and what are they going to do, all right? So earlier last year, we did a video, uh, Chris and I actually did a video discussing comic book casting. Do you base it on the comic book, or do you base it on the actor? For example, if you move on to Wolverine, Hugh Jackman established the, the cinematic Wolverine, but he does not look like the comic book Wolverine. So we had a previous discussion then, which source would MCU use to recast Wolverine? Is going to be a tall Hugh Jackman or a short comic book Wolverine, right? But anyway, so now we got Storm and we talk about Beyonce. Beyonce, there's many reasons why Beyonce should not play Storm. Okay, let's start off with the fact that she is Beyonce. She is an extremely popular, famous, and successful singer. She is not a career actress, okay? So, yes, her acting is not that good. I will agree with that. I think often she's just Beyonce. Like, when I heard her in The Lion King, I heard Beyonce. But actually, everyone in the cast had that problem. You know what I'm saying? But when you see her, you just see her. And to be as big as she is, if she was in the MCU in any character, she would be Beyonce. Like, you would not see whatever character she's trying to act like she is. And that's a, and that takes away from her character. That takes away from the movie, okay? 
most of the MCU actors really weren't that famous until they joined the MCU because therefore you saw the role and then you saw the actor, okay? Now you also you gotta think about being part of the MCU takes a lot out of you, okay? So Beyonce being a singer, that is her career and she signed up for at least a three movie deal with the MCU and Disney, that would be her life for at least six years because it takes a year to make the movie. You got to spend another year like advertising for the movie and she got too many platinum albums to put out. She got too many videos to put out. She got kids. I mean, she got a lot of stuff going on. Like acting is like a hobby for her. You know what I'm saying? So she, she really would not want to wrap up her whole life just to be a one character in the MCU, okay? Also, you got to think it's taxing on these people and people get tired of being a part of it. Chris Evans got tired. Robbie Downey Jr. got tired. But look at like Michael B. Jordan. He played Killmonger, one character in one MCU movie. And that made him so popular about that character. He got tired of it. He did not want to hear anything about Wakanda forever. He was like, I'm moving on. I'm an actor. That's just one role. Like, so Chadwick Boseman, same thing, you know what I'm saying? So he was in Civil War, he was in Infinity War 1 and 2, he was in Black Panther. He did four movies as Black Panther, but after Black Panther, he got tired of Wakanda forever. You think Beyonce wants to spend at least three or four years just being Storm everywhere she goes? No, like that is too much commitment. And, and again, Chadwick Boseman is an actor. Michael B. Jordan is an actor and they got tired. So I don't, I don't think Beyonce would do that to herself, okay? So then you gotta say, what does she look like? When you look at Beyonce, she's more like Halle Berry. She's more like Alexandria Shipp. She's not like Storm. If, you, if you're gonna go for the comic book Storm, okay? So then last year, a lot of people, you know, throwing out actors who could play comic book Storm, okay? So then I was like, so I went through some of the uh, lists and this is my list of why I think. So first and foremost would be Yeti Badaki is her name. I hope I got that right. Uh, she plays on American Gods. Uh, she plays the goddess of love in that show. And she, to me, embodies what Storm would look like in a cinematic real life, you know, vision. Like I would, it would I think she would be perfect for Storm, Okay. Also, then after her, you got Jodie Turner-Smith. Uh, she played in Queen and Slim. I think she would be great. I think she has the look for it. I think she has the height for it. Um, I think she would be awesome in that role. You know what I'm saying? She can, she can do drama. You know, both of them have done dra dramatic roles. They're career actors. I think she would be a great storm. Uh, DeWanda Wise from uh, She's Gotta Have It. She, she's, she's a great actress. You know, she's doing great on that show. She has the look of Storm. I think she would be a great Storm, you know, I think. And for, for number three, that's my third. And then Asia Naomi King from How to Get Away with Murder. When I saw her, I was like, she should be Storm. Like, she would be an awesome Storm. And she does a lot of dramatic stuff. I mean, you know, working with Viola Davis, I mean, that's a lot of mentorship and what it means to be a dramatic actress. I think she's done a great job on that show. I actually thought she was going to get her own spinoff um, because they clearly were trying to like groom her as the next, um, you know, um, uh, Viola Davis, you know, like type, type character. Um, so uh, Annalise Keating, that's what I was trying to say. She's like, like, so her character was definitely going to be the next Annalise Keating, I thought. Um, but I guess that's not going to happen. But I think, I think Asia Naomi King would be a good number four. Look for American actress to play comic book Storm. I think she would be good. And then uh, Tiana Paris is my is my number five. Uh, she's going to be in Candyman whenever that movie gets released. Um, she was on Survivor's Remorse. That's why I first saw her. Um, so I think she would be a great storm too. You know, uh, you know, great actress. She did some dramatic stuff. She's done comedy stuff. She has the look of what Storm. I think a comic book Storm would look like. Um, but I think it's going to be a challenge for the MCU I, I, at that point. Who are they going for? Are they trying to take the vision of what Halle Berry established? Are they trying to make their own? Again, are they going to go with the comic book route? What is going to be their source of inspiration when they go out there to say who should be Storm in the MCU for Phase 4? So, again, so uh, Yeti Badaki, Jodie Turner-Smith, DeWanda Wise, Asia uh, Naomi King, and Tiana Paris. Those are my top five.
But what do you think? Who do you think should be Storm? Why do you think they should be Storm? Should skin color even be an issue? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you think this is like a colorism issue? You think, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, what shade of, you know, dark or, you know, black or brown is Storm as long as she's there? Is that proper representation? That's also a, a serious conversation when you talk about this. And when you talk about Black Panther, I do remember that when Black Panther came out, there was a light-skinned actress who was offered a role in that movie. And she said she turned it down because she said she didn't believe that it was her story to tell. You know, so that she wasn't basically the right skin tone for what they were trying to go for when you look at the cast of Black Panther. So it does become an issue. And there's things that, you know, people, you know, actors have to deal with. You know, are they too tall? Are they too short? Are they too dark? Are they too light? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is the vision? and what is discrimination and what is proper representation becomes a very fine line when you talk about those types of things, you know? Um, do you want to be true to the character? Anyway, that's the video. What do you think? Again, who do you think should be Storm? What do you think of my top five? Um, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks.